Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Just Kimchi channel. So, in today's video, I'm doing an updated Shikai and Bankai tier list in Peroxide. Now, with the recent addition of the flower, Shikai and Bankai, a lot of people have been wondering where it places on the tier list. But yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'm trying to hit 25k subs, so please help me this goal. Also, join my Discord server in the description of this video. So, yeah, let's jump into it. So, I'm gonna rank it is from S, A, B, and basically S tier is the best of the best. A is like all right and then b is just like the worst ones you should probably spin it off but yeah how i'm gonna be doing it is based off pve and pvp on how useful it is for both of them now let's start with b tier now b tier i have explosion and gravity now hear me out <laughs> before the gravity mains are in the comments now basically the reason i have gravity down here is merely the fact because gravity in my personal opinion is only good for pve if you do it in pvp it's not really that good because you can literally just avoid the entire bubble and basically the entire kit is merely better when you're inside of the bubble and people just usually just flash up out of it because like literally flash ships are so fast in peroxide now especially with the added perks and stuff that basically it's very easy to escape the gravity so yeah now explosion is here now i know explosion is pretty op but in my personal opinion i do not like the shikai but the bankai with the free revive is pretty nice but other than that i just think these two abilities are not as good as the a tier and s tier abilities but i know some people would go crazy with these abilities because i've seen some really good explosion players and gravity players but gravity i still stand that if you're the moves in the bubble are way better than the ones without the bubble now a tier fire and wind now Wind is brain dead. I love wind. I used to be a wind main and wind is insane. All right. So basically, first of all, wind has probably the best kit in the game for 1v1s. You have a counter, you have a up tilt move that you can extend with the second move that it has, which is the barrage skill. And plus, after you land onto the floor, you can extend with one of your strength or spirit skills. Because the good thing about wind is the fact that wind is dual scaling. So that's pretty good already. The ultimate and the base is dual scaling. So it's very good for either build that you want to go. If you want to be a spirit main, you can go with wind. If you want to be a strength main, you can still go with wind. Now, fire. Fire is brain dead. I love fire. Fire Shikai, in my personal opinion, is a little bit worse than wind. I have wind over fire, but the main thing with fire is basically, for one, the Bankai skill kind of sucks, to be honest. I mean, the skeletons is cool now, but it's very easy to escape the skeletons by just blocking it and just running away from the flame user. Now, a cool thing about fire is basically the M1s are pretty much high. If you're a strength build fire, your damage will be insane because of the burn damage and your high M1 damage. Now, other than that, fire just has a worse Shikai than, you know, wind. That's why it's here. But fire is still better, even with a worse Shikai than wind, it's still better than gravity and explosion. Now, S tier, I have clone, flower, lightning, and glacier. Now, let's start off with the new one, flower. Now, flower is pretty good. Flower, I love flower. It has probably one of the easiest kits to play in the game because the moves are just so fast. You're literally so mobile with flower. It's so fast and really good to play with. Now, the only thing that puts it down for me is the passive. The passive are not that really good, but other than that, it's really top tier and pretty much one of the best abilities to farm bosses in the game because the domain is just so broken because it literally just constantly hits the bosses and stuff. So yeah. Now, lightning. Lightning is pretty good. The passes are really nice. I love lightning. Like lightning strength is just so good. But it falls short in other stuff because it's very easy to counter a lightning user. But lightning with the uh, conduction gem on the ultimate is just brain that you could literally just insta TP. Like as you can see on the screen right now, you can just insta TP to the person if you had the conduction gem. But yeah, then clone. Clone. Okay. Now hear me out. Now, clone is really boring. It's very boring and very counterable. But the reason I have it at S tier over like fire and wind is the fact that clone is just so much fun, okay? It's literally so much fun. Because one, you're Shikai. Basically, once you can summon like after images that can make the fight difficult for the person because though those clones they track you down they will track you down they'll make sure you lose they track you down plus another cool thing is that the fact that you can like literally whatever move you use last and you click the button it basically copies that move so for example as well it copies the gems that are on that move so for example you had reap on one of your moves and you use it on the clones basically they will also have reap on that move as well so basically they will not get their ultimate it's just so insane how good clone is now that's just the base now once we go into bankai bankai clone literally solos majority of the game for example if you have a broken build and basically the clone user can just use that right against you now 
Basically, a lot of people will say the fact that clone is not that good because you can easily get destroyed to clones if you have an AOE thing. But perfect clone, perfect clone is brain dead. Like literally, is brain dead. Probably the most brain dead thing in this game. And I still don't know how it has not been nerfed yet, but I'm not complaining. But yeah. Now, the best ability in the game still is Glacier in my personal opinion, like Glacier is just so good, like literally every single passive for Glacier is top tier, the ultimate move is top tier as well, literally the Shikai recently got a visual rework and it looks beautiful, and basically added on some other versions like if you press V on the skill, like Glacier in a whole is just so good now, like I don't know how anything can top Glacier, Glacier is just the best ability in the game, every single Shikai skill is good, Every passive is good, and the ultimate is good. There's literally no downsides. Only downside, in my personal opinion, is the fact that it's spirit only. But if you being honest, spirit is the better build for Shinigamis, in my personal opinion, than strength. I mean, strength would only go well for like Aron cards and stuff. But yeah, let me guys thoughts and tears in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy. Can you sign off? Love y'all and peace.